This video is to give instructions on how to set up and manage the copy management feature uh, on the CopyStar models CS5530, 4530, and 3530 models. The first step is press the asterisk button here and as you can see the screen will change to saying default settings. At this point you press the button that says management. The machine's going to ask for an administrator number. The administrator number is basically if your model is a 5530 it's 5500 if it's a 4530, it's 4500, and if it's the 3530, uh, 3500. This particular model is a 5530, so we're going to go ahead and enter the numeric keys 5500. Now it says management menu. You have five different uh, functions. The first thing is uh, checking the counters by the ID codes. Um, printing the list of ID or users, uh, entering or registering or deleting an ID code, and number of copies that each user is allowed. You can correct the amount of copies that you want to give each user, and clearing the counters, plus turning the management feature on and off. We're going to go over each one of these uh, tasks individually. Uh, we'll start with ID reg and delete. Once you press this button it shows you uh, the list of uh, registered users by ID code and the number of copies that have been issued to each user. In this case they're allowed to make 5,000 copies each. To register a new ID, if you have a new employee and you need to register a new one, you press the register button. At this point you can see highlighted the ID code. We're going to enter a number of 1111. Then we move down to how many copies you want to give this person. So you press the key button and again we're going to give them 5,000 copies then you press next register. If you had a list of a uh, number of teachers or employees to uh, users that you want to install you would just continue on this step until all of your uh, new users are installed. Once that's complete you press close. It goes back to the previous screen. You can see this is the one that we entered 1111 and that's the number of copies. In this uh, screen as well, we can delete a certain code. Uh, if we just scroll down here, or you can touch the one that you want to go to. Let's say this employee has left uh, your company. If you want to delete that user, you just simply push delete. It's asking, are you sure you want to delete this ID code? Press yes. If you make a mistake, just press no. As you can see, it's gone. That's how you register or delete user ID codes. So we'll press the close. The next feature we will show you is correcting the number of copies that are allowed for each ID. So you press number of copy correct. Again the screen shows the different user ID codes. You select the one that you want to correct by either touching the touch screen or you can also scroll up or down and let's say we want to make uh, ID code 123 they're allowed 50,000 copies instead of 5,000 you press correction and here you enter with the numeric keys and then close and that's how you change the number of copies allowed press the close button again to go to the main menu. If you at the end of the month or year you want to clear all of the counters, first thing I would suggest is press the print list. Okay, This will print out a list 
of all the user IDs, how many copies there are allowed. It shows the size copy or prints if they use the printer. Uh, in this case, this is a brand new machine, so there are no copies, but it would give you totals for each, each individual department. Okay, after you've printed that report, you now can go into counter clear. And again, it's going to ask you if you really want to clear all the counts, just praise yes. If you want to check a counter by an individual ID, you can press the counter by ID code and it'll show each individual ID number and the counter that the, how many copies they've made and you can scroll from pages up or down on the page there's several pages of uh, employees or users and you press close to exit that screen and that's uh, to turn on the copy management feature you just press the on button and then press close and then press end which will go back to your main screen as you can see now the screen is asking for an ID number to be able to use the machine you can see here if you try to enter a code it's not correct it just goes blank the print button will not work uh, we'll enter the user code 1111 the one that we had programmed press enter and now as you can see the screen shows that it's ready to print you can enter how many copies you want and then go ahead with your your print job uh, when you're finished using the machine it will automatically divert back to the main screen after 90 seconds we suggest I press the, the asterisk button and press end which goes back to the main screen for entering a new ID number that way uh, no other people will be able to make copies on your account. That uh, concludes the um, usage of the copy management functions on these machines.